It's been a day of welcomes and sad farewells in Portsmouth. Coming home for the final time was Type 42 destroyer HMS Gloucester. But paying the first of many trips to Portsmouth was the Royal Navy's new ice patrol ship. Tim Cooper has the story. There's no doubt HMS Gloucester had an illustrious career. In 1991, during the first Gulf War, the destroyer performed a Navy first, taking out two Iraqi silkworm missiles which were targeting the USS Missouri by intercepting them with her own sea dart missiles, the first time that's ever been done. In 2006, Gloucester was the first British ship alongside in Beirut during the Lebanon-Israel conflict, helping to evacuate 766 UK subjects to the safety of Cyprus in three round trips. So there's no surprise that her current crew are sad to see the ship, nicknamed the Fighting G after her illustrious Second World War predecessor, leave service. I uh, spent five years on HMS Gloucester, met a lot of people, I've got a lot of happy memories from it, so it is very sad for me to see the ship go. Firstly, she's probably one of the best ones still left. And it's really sad that she's the one that's going first. There are only three Type 42 destroyers left in active service now, and they'll all be gone by 2013. Gloucester's last CO admits the future does lie elsewhere. You see these fabulous Type 45s alongside. It's quite obvious where the investment needs to go now. And we've had you know, a long service. So HMS Gloucester leaves the Royal Navy after 26 years of active service. A sad day for her crew and for many in Portsmouth. But there is hope on the horizon in the form of a new ship, the MV Polar. Of Bjorn, who enters Portsmouth Harbour for the first time, she'll soon become known as HMS Protector. The new ship will resume the Antarctic patrol duties, most recently the province of HMS Endurance, who languishes in the Navy base, future uncertain, after getting into difficulties off Chile in 2008. Protector's been leased for three years, although many predict she'll become a permanent fixture. The ice patrol ship is a signature UK capability. It's one that we deploy down to the South Atlantic and one which is a reaffirmation of our support to the South, South Atlantic territories of Falkland Island, South Georgia, South Sandwich and of course Antarctica. She'll be officially named on June the 1st. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Portsmouth.